The world of space exploration is filled with moments of awe, terror, and scientific wonder. Among the rare events that blur the boundary between science fiction and reality, one stands out with eerie distinction. Voyager 1, the space probe launched by NASA in 1977, has long been a silent traveler through the interstellar void, transmitting data from regions of space never before touched by human hands or machines. For more than four decades, it has faithfully sent information back to Earth. However, its mission seemed to be reaching its twilight years, with the data becoming increasingly sporadic and faint. Then, a recent surge in unusual activity brought renewed attention to the aging probe. What happened next was unprecedented. Voyager 1 transmitted an image that defied all expectations and ignited one of the most heated debates in modern astrophysics. This wasn't a simple technical glitch or a random artifact. The image appeared to depict something constructed an object or presence that suggested intelligent design. Adding to the mystery, physicist Michio Kaku revealed that artificial intelligence, after analyzing the data, had confirmed something deeply unsettling. The data might have originated from an unknown intelligence, not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Sequence of events began innocently. Ground Control received a standard data packet from Voyager 1, just one of the countless small bursts of radio signals the probe has emitted since leaving the solar system. At first, there was nothing unusual. In the content, what set this packet apart was its signal structure. The AI tasked with overseeing Voyager's telemetry flagged the transmission. Due to an anomalous modulation pattern that did not conform to anything previously observed from the probe, initially, engineers suspected a malfunction, possibly a side effect of the probe's aging internal systems. However, NASA's Deep Space Network discovered something far more intriguing. The signal followed an organized, deliberate structure. The pattern resembled digital encoding with layered redundancy, error correction, and recursive sequences, indicators of engineered information. As AI models trained in deep space signal recognition began decoding the content, the transmission revealed what appeared to be an image. But this was not a conventional photograph. It was a compressed, vector-style representation encoded geometrically in binary. Once reconstructed, the image was both awe-inspiring and deeply unnerving. It showed a dark backdrop expected given Voyager's vast distance from any star's end at the center. An illuminated structure. This formation did not appear random. It had symmetry, a lattice-like design, and it pulsed faintly in high frequency. Bands. Michio Koku, a prominent voice in theoretical physics and futurism, was among the first scientists to be briefed on the image and its implications. He publicly stated that the artificial intelligence decoding Voyager's data had identified the signal source not as cosmic radiation or natural emissions, but as something that had learned and adapted to Voyager's signal format. In simpler terms, the data appeared to be a reply. This revelation led to profoundly unsettling questions. Voyager 1 had passed the Heliopost the boundary where the sun's influence ends and entered interstellar space years ago. It wasn't designed for communication. It merely transmitted its internal status using a weak, low-power carrier signal. So, who or what was capable of detecting and responding to such a faint transmission? And why respond in such a calculated and cryptic way? The implications deepened when the AI analysis uncovered layered patterns within the image. These were not just symbols, they bore resemblance to fractal logic diagrams and recursive visual element structures, echoing early Earth-based communication protocols. These elements hinted at an understanding of symmetry, logic, and even aesthetics. Embedded within the binary encoding were hints of trinary code, suggesting a form of computation entirely unfamiliar to us. The more scientists examined the data, the more it became clear this was no accidental transmission. Someone or something had deliberately engaged with Voyager's signal, decoded it, and responded with a constructed visual message. This wasn't a grainy photo of a supposed UFO in Earth's skies. This was hard digital data, broadcast from billions of miles away, carrying all the hallmarks of intentional design. Michio Kaku stressed that while AI was essential for technical decoding, the philosophical implications were even more significant. The image suggested we were not alone and Someone had heard our faint whisper into the cosmic dark and had chosen to answer. The scientific community quickly became divided. Some urged caution, arguing that natural phenomena might still be responsible. 
and warning against projecting human tendencies onto ambiguous data, but others pointed to compelling evidence. The image's high signal-to-noise ratio, the mathematical precision of the patterns, and the AI's confidence in identifying intelligent design. Most unsettling of all was the second layer of the image vector map. When mapped by astrophysicists, the points aligned with gravitational anomalies that had long been dismissed as statistical noise or potential dark matter fluctuations. Now, they formed a recognizable pattern, perhaps a galactic positioning system or a cosmic network. This realization launched a firestorm of speculation. If the map indicated other structures or even sentient activity, Voyager may have wandered into a region of space that was not empty at all but watched. The question shifted from who is responding to how long have they been listening. Michio Kaku took the bold step of addressing the deeper theoretical implications. If this intelligence had intercepted Voyager's weak signal, it either possessed technology far beyond our own or was far closer than we had imagined. And if this was an intentional response, it suggested we had unknowingly tapped into a broader interstellar communication lattice. Voyager, in this interpretation, was not merely a machine. It had become a messenger, perhaps even a participant, in a dialogue humanity never anticipated. Kaku speculated that this might be our first glimpse of what Carl Sagan once envisioned, a cosmic internet, where civilizations listen passively until the spark of contact occurs. Tension rose within the scientific community, was this contact benign, indifferent, or possibly even hostile? The image offered no clear answers. It wasn't menacing, but its ambiguity was deeply unsettling. A structured response using our own signal implied observation, monitoring perhaps, even evaluation. It's important to recall that Voyager was launched with a golden record, an audiovisual time capsule of human life and culture, designed for alien eyes. Had someone, finally, opened it? Further analysis of the transmission revealed another intriguing aspect. The structure of the data had subtly changed over time. This suggested that the transmission wasn't a one-off image, but a stream one that had been evolving or dynamically reacting. AI systems trained on natural language processing and visual pattern recognition found strong evidence of a layered communication system. This was no random burst. It was a deliberate, tiered information payload. The stream included metadata, versioning, and error correction signs of not just intelligence, but a mature, possibly ancient, information-sharing culture. Though NASA has not released all details to the public, internal reports have confirmed the signal's authenticity and the image's reconstruction. Notably, they identified a strange echo embedded within the transmission, fragments of Voyager's own earlier broadcasts, folded back into the message, as if acknowledging its origin. Too many, this was a cosmic handshake, subtle, but unmistakable. More than anything, this discovery shattered the long-standing belief that deep space is silent and empty. Voyager 1, after nearly 50 years of drifting alone, had stumbled into something unimaginable. Space no longer seemed vast and mute. It felt inhabited and perhaps, even expectant. There is something haunting about the idea that a machine launched before smartphones, the Internet, or the end of the Cold War, could awaken the curiosity of another intelligence. It marks a new chapter in human history, one not just of broadcasting, but of receiving. Koku's statements underscored this shift. He emphasized that we must now rethink our place in the cosmos. If we are being watched or studied, then the rules of scientific ethics and diplomacy might need to be extended beyond Earth. We are no longer mere explorers. We are now participants in a universe that may hold civilizations far older and wiser than ours. The final segment of the transmission wasn't another image it was a pulse pattern, regular, rhythmic, and highly structured. The pulses are still being analyzed by scientists. Initial interpretations suggest they may form a primer, a teaching tool, or even a test akin to linguistic scaffolding or a mathematical baseline. It feels like the beginning of a tutorial or an invitation. Voyager, ever the ambassador, had become a bridge, and the silence that followed wasn't voided was heavy with meaning. Had the entity finished speaking, was it waiting for a reply, or testing if humanity even recognized what had happened? For now, the AI systems continue monitoring every fluctuation in signal, every data packet, every echo. The scientific community stands on the edge of something ancient, something unknowable. What Voyager 1 uncovered wasn't just an image, was a question echoing across light years, demanding a response.
and for the first time, the universe didn't feel distant and indifferent. It felt inhabited, watchful, and perhaps, just maybe, listening. 